Interventions can be incredibly effective and they can be incredibly not effective. It depends upon really a number of factors. It also depends upon the person who's being intervened upon and their decision to embrace recovery in their life. It takes an enormous amount of strength and courage to embrace recovery and so the person who is really up to the person who is trying to get clean and sober to stay, to get and to stay sober. We also know that there are two different kinds of interventions. The one kind is very unconfrontational and it's, it acts as a surprise to the person. So in other words, the person doesn't know that the intervention is happening, that an interventionist is hired and contacts the person's family members and the other significant people in the person's life and then they surprise them and they intervene on them. The other kind of intervention is more what's called invitational, so that the person who's suffering from the disease of addiction or substance abuse knows that this is happening and it's a much slower, more involved process. So the two are very different and it all depends upon the person who's doing the intervention and it also depends upon the person who's being intervened upon, what their what their personality is like, what how they would receive all of this. So there are lots of variables that go into this. Um, but again, we know, I know from working, the work that I do, that interventions can be highly, highly effective. Mm -hmm.